Man, when you've got that song inside your heart, don't you just let it go? Or or do you chase another person's song just so that you can feel what's going on inside of you? Because a lot of times you don't need your own personal lyrics. Just make some noise. It's just the way it is. It really is. The coffee company Folgers spent millions of dollars convincing people around the world that the best part about waking up is Folgers in your cup. Over the past 40 years, it became a jingle. And they sold that jingle for $90,500. The goal today is to borrow from that idea. In your own personal life, what is the best part about waking up? I love knowing that my wife of 30 years and my dog Jazzy are right there with me. In the next room, my writing instruments, my writing desk, the journals. And in in the other room, the recording studio, the kitchen. Each room in our home serves a greater purpose. I mean, I always hear of people, they say, I don't even use the dining room unless it's a special occasion. Yeah, we, we thought that too. So we put a Christmas tree in there that is lit up every single night. It's a special room. It's always Christmas in my house. Those lights serve as a positive source. Those lights were there during the lockdown of COVID-19 when everything else seemed black and white and bleak. We had our Christmas lights on. It gave us positive energy. The forest outside. I'm looking at the forest right now. It's beautiful. It's the best part about waking up. Hey, it's Arrow. This is the Daily Mass, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I think of things that I shouldn't be thinking about, and I talk about things that I probably shouldn't be talking about either. Like, the best part about waking up is Folgers in your cup. They might come after me, say, we need some royalties for that. Okay. (laughs) This is the Daily Mass. The goal is not to push, to trust the moment, to see the expectation and not the personal determination. How much are we really missing when we get these bird brain ideas and we're so dedicated to them that we don't give up until there is or there isn't a payoff? I'm guilty of doing that in the name of saying, yes, I did. Often accused by others, what haven't you done? Being very honest with you, I've not mastered any of them. Bruce Lee was no different. His skills as a martial artist were the most amazing skills. But he was never a student that earned the highest recognitions by the masters and leaders who've trained for years with leaders that lived the life and style by way of lessons that were taught thousands of years ago. When you can do it all, what are you really, really missing? Doing it all can be the cover-up, hiding behind the next big opportunity, missing out on the next calling. Being upfront and honest, transparent with you, I, I am never too shy to say that when I moved from Billings, Montana to Charlotte, North Carolina, from one radio job to the next, I have always called it the biggest mistake of my life. Billings was like market number 252 in the ratings. Charlotte at that point in time was market number 37. My ego was saying, look at me. Oh my God. Hindsight. Look at what I did. I missed out on a lot. There's a lot of things that you pick up along the way that makes you a stronger student, makes you a stronger leader, communicator, activator. Jumping from market number 252 to 37 There's a lot of radio I missed. I forgot that it's about connecting with people, not building up the light in your soul. Because you'll have those days where that light, you're the only one that can see it. It's a hard walk when you do the hindsight. It's not living in the past. It's starting to understand where you are in your right now. So I ask again, the goal is to not push, to trust the moment, to see the expectation and not the personal determination. How much are we missing out on during those wild moments of being dedicated to ideas that may never pay off? You're not getting the time back. How do you process 
all that is right now. You plan for it. You build. You learn from the little mistakes, the gigantic mistakes. You talk with others. You collaborate. You share. You have things in common. But what can you build that becomes the platform? What did you miss in life? Don't hold yourself guilty because you ain't getting it back. But from this day forward, pay attention. Don't always be running out there because it's a brand new opportunity. Have you mastered it? What's the next step? I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.